Okay, Frankie. Why do you have that sad look on your face? Because, Mr. Franklin, the school takes forever to get us new staff. Well, Frankie, you have to relax. Change doesn't always happen overnight. I guess not. I should already know that after what we've been studying right now for history. Really? Well, where are you at in class right now? Right now, we're studying the African-American Civil Rights Movement. Oh, I love reading about those stories where African-Americans fought for their freedom. What have you learned so far? Well, for starters, it took over a hundred years for African Americans to begin to be treated as equals. Yes, it is sad how African Americans were treated throughout American history. I know. We learned in class about people who were called abolitionists. They fought against African Americans being kept in slavery. Yes, I know. During this time in history, African Americans were used for labor as slaves. And people who didn't agree with that were called abolitionists and they wanted to stop slavery. That's where the Civil War all started. Yes, because of the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed slaves. It wasn't long after that that the North won the Civil War. You're right, Frankie. But even after that, in Southern states, African Americans were still treated unfairly. This is where laws were created in the South that were called Jim Crow laws. These laws would force African Americans to be separate from white Americans, meaning they couldn't be in the same places, restaurants, and things like that. It was so unfair. Yeah, Mr. Franklin, we learned African American leaders at that time named W.E. Du Bois and Ida B. Wells formed the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP, in 1909. Oh, yeah, I remember learning this well from college. That was because this is where people like Booker T. Washington helped to start schools that allowed African Americans to receive education. That's right, Mr. Franklin. My teacher also taught me about another woman named Mary McLeod Bethune who helped to form schools to help educate African American girls, too. Well, it sure does sound like you've been busy, Frankie. I have, Mr. Franklin. Today, we finished learning about the March on Washington with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and stories like Rosa Parks, a woman who refused to take being treated unfairly on the bus and that started the Montgomery bus boycott. You are on it, Frankie. It's because of people standing up and fighting for what's right, including equality, that in 1964, the Civil Rights Act was signed into law by President Lyndon Johnson. That's right, Mr. Franklin. The Civil Rights Act stopped states from using Jim Crow laws and outlawed discrimination because of race, national background, and gender. Well, Frankie, even though you worked on that old tablet, it sounds like you learned a lot today, my friend. You're right, Mr. Franklin. And I also learned a ton about the African-American Civil Rights Movement for Kids.